good morning welcome back to the channel uh, today we're going to be installing a, a throttle shaft uh, bushing and a zenith carburetor for a model a uh, the shaft is not worn and but the housing's worn a little bit and, and that affects the idling so uh, i'll give you a little idea how much it's wore you can see it moving up and down there so I'm going to show you how, how I go about this. Uh, the first thing, I have a set of, of drill blanks. Uh, they're like drill bits, but they're just, they're just plain solid shaves. And they're really, really useful to line up things with. So that's what I'm, what I'm going to be using. Uh, I've got the one picked out here that uh fits my and you see it fits real real good and it goes goes all the way into the other bushing on the other side and and this bushing hardly ever wears so i'm gonna show you how, how i set this up and i put a piece of tape here there's a little port for the idling uh, one of the idling ports and i put a piece of tape over it so any shavings or dust or anything can't get in it while i'm machining it so i'll show you how i go about setting it up and doing it it down lock this down you can see it it's floating up here on my shaft so i i line my cross feed back to where it's just uh so i just get it to where it's touching Clamp it lightly. It don't don't have to be really tight. Then you can uh, you see how free that free that works. I got my light clamped up here and it's almost in the way. But uh, you can see see how how easy it goes in. And now I've got a letter in drill bit, which is a uh, which is 302 thousandths. And the bushing needs to be 312. So this is my reamer I'm gonna ream it with. Uh, so uh, let me get my meal hall plugged up here and power to it. tight enough it grabbed on me. Okay. 
Now we'll change, put the reamer in. Drop the table a little bit. And give me a little lock tight now. I'll use it. I think I'll ream it just a little bit more. It's a tight fit now, and I'm afraid if I, if I go ahead and push it in, it's going to be too tight on the shaft. So let me get a new 5 16 drill. Open it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. That's that's still still snug. So uh, I'm still gonna put a little Loctite on it. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to press it in. I don't like the hammer on them. Oh yeah, it's got a good fit on it. I hope you see 
It's a little bit proud, so I'll take a file, knock that off. But you can see, does does a pretty good job of doing it. And you can see the shavings fall out. You, that's the reason I put the put the um, tape on it. So let's see. You may have to deburr it. Yep, it's a little snug, so I'll have to I'll have to work on it. But that's that what we want. I'll work on it, get it uh, uh, reamed out a little bit. We'll be right back. Well, that's all there is to it. Oh, got a good, good, nice fit on that thing. Uh, this is a just a homemade, what you call a flapper. It's just a piece of one eighth inch rod. I took a hacksaw and sawed a slot in it. And uh, then you just tear off a piece of sandpaper fold it over. I had too much of a, too big a piece when I first started, so you can see it didn't take hardly anything. But uh, they work pretty good on something like this, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.